Now, if you look right up there, you see there's three pipes coming out of the ground there. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but they go up and then there's a goes across. The one the furthest one the water, is where the water is coming from the spring goes up, comes across that center one, which keeps that center one full. That center one goes down and divides into the three pipes that come out into the uh, pump house. And then the other one is the overflow that runs down underground. And that's Quite a ways up there, it's up on a hill there. Comes down, flows underground. Underneath of the other pipes. My pump house is right over there underneath of that pile of lumber. So this, all of those pipes run over there and go into the pump house. Artless and the I bottom know. one, that's the one that I showed you down in the hole, the water running through it. So that's where it runs through there. It comes over that overflow. So that's how this thing all works, kind of give you an idea anyway. Music licensing reimagined. Hello, I am John from John and Len's U.S. Philippine Adventure. And I wanted to share with you a ram pump that I built, which has been providing water to my garden, my yard, which is a little over an acre of yard, um, my house, which I've got an eight bedroom house, four full bathrooms, so we use quite a bit of water. And uh, this has been working now for um, 25 years. And so, uh, giving me free water. It pumps my water without electricity, I uh, uses the flow of water to uh, push water up the hill. I've got a 1600 gallon tank buried at the highest point of my property. And so this pushes water up there and keeps that 1600 gallon tank full and overflowing most of the time. But there's always that backup. Whenever I start using a lot of water, you know, water in my garden of the yard, and it starts going down. But at night, when nobody's using it, it fills it right back up. So anyway, let me show you this ramp up and how it works. First of all, I'll show you my ramp pump. That's what is right here. Now, this ramp, this is what works. Do you see this coming up and down? Okay, now, because look inside there, there's a hole right here. And when this comes up, it stops and plugs in that hole. So this drops down, water flows out of here, and then when it, water starts to flow very fast, it pushes this plunger up, stops the, stops the water from flowing. Well, all that water that's in that pipe flowing wants to go somewhere. So it goes here and right. This is a, a one-way gate valve. So water can come through this way, but it can't go back. So when it hits, it pushes that water up in there. I put this tank right up here, attached to it. I put this rubber on there because it was, this, the way this pounds, it was tearing, busting the bottom out. But anyway, so I put this rubber on there. That seems to be working well now. So this water comes up and it pushes it up into this. It's got air in it, which absorbs that little bit of a push. This has 42 pounds of pressure put in here. As you can see, there's a, a nozzle there for your air. You can put however much air you want in it. So that compresses, compresses this air as the water goes in. Then as this plunger falls back down, when it falls down, then there's room more, room more water coming in. So then it pushes the water back and down this line. And that goes down this line right here, as you can see, to a manifold that I built here. And that manifold goes under the tank and comes up in the bottom of this tank here. This is just another pressure tank, a bigger one. Still not a very big one. Anyway, it goes, comes underneath. And I built a, man, uh, a collar under there 
so that this one line goes in here and comes up into the tank and then another line goes back down comes out and follows that hose right there around and comes into this smaller manifold which if you can see it goes right here goes into the concrete back out of this pump house and up the hill okay i'll turn that on again you see that line go? I'm going to turn it on Now I wanted to explain a little more of what I have going on here. As, as you can see, there are three valves here. One, two, and three. And that one over there is open. Putting water into, up through this line, into this electric pump. Now this electric pump is set so that if the 1600 gallon tank runs empty, then it kicks on. And it stays on until until the tank is full. As soon as the tank is full, then it kicks back off. And then it stays off. Hopefully the ram pump keeps the thing full, which it does most of the time. But if I'm watering the yard, the garden and stuff, when it's really hot and I'm using a lot of water, then the ram pump can't keep up. But that that's a one horse pump, and it, uh, it'll keep up with the my water needs. So I want this here, these three lines as you can see, go back into the concrete and they go this whole this entire building. As you can see this concrete roof. It's all underground. And this door goes out and I'm halfway to get out from under. But it's got a couple feet of dirt over the top of this. So this these are pretty deep. They go back up the hill a little ways. I'm going to take you and show you what I have going on up there a little bit. I kind of hard to explain it to you without showing it to you, but I'll, I'll take you up and show you that. Now, I wanted to show you my overflow system. If you look here, you'll see a hole here, a pipe hole that goes down there. There's another one right over here, and one right over there. So there's four holes. They all go down, go to come together into a pipe that's down underneath of all this concrete. Now I can show you this pipe here if I get over here so the it overflows. See if I can look down in there. You should be able to see the water running in there. Music licensing, we imagine. I don't know if you can see that water flowing down there. Anyway, the water flowing down there. Um, and that water, that's just the overflow that's, that goes, uh, and I'll show you where that comes from, um, up above. Here, anyway, that water flows down and into a fish pond that I have down below. So I'll go out and show you some of that. This is the water coming out of the pipe that goes underneath the pump house. And it flows right through here. I don't know if you can see it flowing there. I blow Music that up. Okay, you see water flowing. Reimagined. Goes right down there and down into my fish pond. As you can see, I think, hope you can see it. That's a pretty nice sized pond there. And I went and I caught some uh, trout out of the river not too far from here with a screen door. I went and caught a bunch of little baby one inch fingerlings and I put them in there. This flows here all the way back up where it comes out of the ground back there where the pipe is at. Anyway, I put the fingerlings in there and six months later, those fingerlings were 
six to eight inches long and there were new babies imagined. swimming around in the mouth of this little creek so it's working quite well actually and the fish are reproducing and we can come down here and catch a fresh trout whenever we want now if you look right up there you see there's three pipes coming out of the ground there not sure how well you can see them but they go up and then there's a goes across the one the furthest one the water is where the water is coming from the spring goes up comes across that center one which keeps that center one full that center one goes down and divides into the three pipes that come out into the uh, pump house and then the other one is the overflow that runs down underground and that's quite a ways up there it's up on a hill there comes down flows underground underneath of the other pipes my pump house is right over there underneath of that pile of lumber so this all of those pipes run over there and go into the pump house and the bottom one that's the one that I showed you down in the hole the water running through it so that's where it runs through there it comes over that overflow so that's how this thing all works kind of give you an idea anyway